From the day I realized I was pregnant, I only wanted the best for my baby. I therefore decided to purchase the Nanny Baby Breath Monitor. The Nanny Baby Breath Monitor is an invaluable helper, which watches the breath of your small baby whenever you cannot be by the baby's cot. I'd heard that Nanny was a useful device from lots of mothers, who already saw Nanny in use in the maternity ward where their newly born treasures were being watched over. I read the manual carefully just to be sure that I properly understood what Nanny was saying. In the manual, there was a part about first aid, which I really appreciated. It's always better to be ready for any possible danger. Installation itself was very easy, and I managed it all by myself. In the nanny package, you can find a sensor pad and a control unit, which reports messages about possible danger. Then there are two alkaline batteries for powering the unit, a 5 meter extension cable with a splitter to enable you to put the unit into a different room other than the one your baby sleeps in, or to use an extra sensor pad. And there's also a plastic holder for fixing the unit on a wall. And of course, there are two antibacterial tissues for cleaning the sensor pad and the control unit. The sensor pad needs to be placed on a flat and firm surface. If the baby is too small, it's better to place the pad directly under the sheets and later, when the baby starts to crawl and roll, you can place the pad under the mattress. The device has no direct contact with the baby's skin, so you can be sure that there can be no harmful effect on the baby. Now we need to connect the control unit. First, insert the batteries into the unit and then fix it to the cot and connect the pad to the cable. Secure any loose cable to the cot so the baby cannot pull it. Finally, just check if everything is already as it should be. Switch the unit on. All the LEDs will blink briefly. Nanny checks the battery status this way. After the beep, the device monitors the presence of a breath. If Nanny detects no breath for longer than 20 seconds, a red warning LED will blink, and after 5 seconds, a loud acoustic alarm is triggered. As you can see, you can be sure that your baby is being watched carefully. Nanny will also inform you if the baby's breath is too shallow. If the baby does not breathe in more often than 8 times a minute, the alarm is triggered immediately. You can be by the cot in time and help your baby if needed. You do not need to monitor battery usage, as Nanny will warn you in time with the orange LED if the batteries are low and in need of changing. As I know that my tiny baby will often stay with his grandma, I've already purchased an extra sensor pad. It's practical and avoids any damage to the original pad while traveling, as I only need to move the control unit. Knowing that my baby will be watched by Nanny, I can be sure that I've already done the best for my baby. Even when my little angel is sleeping, I know that he is safe and I can have a rest to refresh my energy for our next time together. <laughs>